Hey, Streamlabs users, I have something cool to talk to you about today. So, for those of you that use this awesome platform, and you see lots of streamers have custom follow, or raid, or any other thing like that, when people click it, and they get this awesome notification, oh, how'd they get that video on there, and you want to do that too? Well, you've came to the right video. That's exactly what I'm going to show you today for Streamlabs OBS. Alright, let's begin. So, first thing you want to do, get your software. Do the thing, get your account, let's go. Then, switch over to your dashboard. Streamlabs dashboard, alert box, yada yada. Cool. So I am editing the uh, alert box I have here. Uh, you might have to set up a brand new alert box depending on the setup of your system. So we're going to assume you just want to have one. So go alert box, go to follows for instance. Now I've already got this one here, we're going to delete it. I'm gonna put it back on. Now I've got the name is now following. Have whatever you want. Whatever kind of animation you want. Y'all, you could set this up however you wanna set it up. Whatever makes you happy, do it. Be unique, be cool, most importantly, have fun. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go find this file. Now they have lots of ones that are already uploaded that you can use. Alrighty. If you want these, you can get some Scott Pilgrim over here. You can get Catbug, Pikachu, you know, Hamtaro eating noodles, and all that good stuff. If these are ones you want to use, by all means, use these. But we're going to talk about how to use a WebM file. Now, you could do a lot of these within Streamlabs itself. But WebM video files, you have to use the website. Trust me, try to make it work via the Streamlabs software. Didn't like me. And it probably will be the same for you too. So, gonna go to uploads. You could obviously choose something you already have here, or you can go find it. Now, Got this in my downloads folder. Got this Eden Zero friend file. Boom. So we're gonna upload that. Now, you may be saying, Callie, what's this video you just uploaded? So, this file right here is my current follow alert on twitch.tv slash Callie Chronicles. I'll show you what it looks like. It's this little clip right here. No way! <laughs> From Eden Zero. There's humans over there! Which is awesome. In there? In there? I can't believe it! There's so many! Are you surprised? I gotta go touch gotta him! Gotta go touch him! But look I at all these it. people out it's here! So good. Do you think they'd all be my friend? Oh no! Great! Be my friend! Be, be my, my friend. friend! Be my friend! Knock it off! Yeah, Can't so this breathe. is my follow there. When someone follows me. It's pretty cool. So... If you have a WebM file, obviously you already have audio, right? You've already got it. You're set up. You're ready to go. Now, if you have just a GIF, GIF, however you decide to pronounce it, and you want to add audio, select your audio file here. Boom! There you go. Do this file being a little quieter than I would like. I have the sound turned up all the way. And I've got the alert duration set up here. You know, one thing you are going to notice is that if you have this set too long, it's going to loop your alert, okay? So if I set this for uh, 29 seconds, 30 seconds, it's going to loop it and look poor. We don't want that. We want it to look good. We're professional here, right? Right? That's what we're supposed to say. I think that's what we're supposed to say. Anyway. There's lots of settings you could change here for fonts. You could change whatever you want. You could change the colors. I liked the colors I already had. So I left it. 
you can modify all this to your heart's content have this layout whatever you want y'all you could spend hours on this screen customizing and testing and testing but you don't we're not doing that today's thing we're gonna use the settings i've already got here and you're gonna click save now pro tip click save twice just to make sure it works Always click save twice. I don't know why. Sometimes it doesn't work. So, we're going to switch back over to my stream recording. And I'll show you all what it looks like. So, poof. Ah, we're back. So, we're going to test this widget out. Show you all what it looks like. Ready? Go. No way! <laughs> Pretty cool, yeah. Over there. That was the name of the person that's following. Different color. It's I got the words. There's so many. Like we set up right here. I gotta go touch them. Stop what? talking. Here. Do you think they No, stop it. You get the point. Anyway. You can change this to whatever you want. If you wanted to say something else. Uh change the font size, change the animation, change whatever you want to make it look how you want it to look. For instance, let's change this from wiggle to wave. Gives you an example of what it's going to look like, but let's test it. Well, you can see. See? Now it looks like that. I prefer the wiggle. No, I'm going to go with the wiggle. I'm going to go back to the wiggle. Anyway, you get it. You understand. Y'all are smart. You're here. You made this far doing this stuff. So, that's all you do. Got it, got it pretty well cut and dry here. Now, one thing that you might be interested in is changing the colors of the fonts to be different. Um, let me show you all what it does if I set it up too long. That way you could see. Let's put it for 30 seconds just so you could see the, uh, the loop effect. So if you get stuck on this, you're going to be like, oh yeah, Callie talked about that. So we're just going to let this play. Uh, so if this is something that was useful to you and your streaming journey, please consider hitting that like button so it could make its way to other people on the interwebs. And if you have other topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know and I will be happy to do so. So, as you can see, it's going to start looping again. Obviously, we don't want to loop your alert because that's not professional. So, we're going to set this back 25 seconds. You are going to have to play around with this to get it to work how you want. So, just play around with it. You'll figure it out. You're smart. You're intelligent. You're trying to make your stream better. You can do this. You got this. For now, that's it for me. See you all next time. Hey friend, thanks for watching that video. If you'd like to watch other videos from me, click the links on screen right now. Or if you would like to visit me in any of my other portals, check the links in the description below. And consider watching me on twitch.tv slash Chronicles, where I live stream all the time. Thanks again, and I hope you have an awesome rest of the day. Bye for now.